It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us for every kick of the ball right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus Argentina. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. The Argentina first team. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. And so the battle commences. Bernardo Silva. Bruno Fernandes. Very quick thinking there. Lionel Messi. Bernardo Silva distributing intelligently and able to get a body in the way. He's driven in the corner. And delivered by Bernardo Silva here. Danger averted for now. Not much time to make up his mind. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Short corner favour. It's opening up for them. Well, decent save there. Well, another corner following on from the last one. Playing it short. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? Yeah, 
They take it short. Throw in for Portugal coming up. Ruben Neves. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering. Ronaldo! And it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Saber. Well, as we can see here, the pass from João Felix is absolutely perfect. And Ronaldo's shot is then hit with such power. He's a top-class player when he gets into those areas. One nil then. For Portugal, number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Marcos Acuna. Able to skip past his man. Moving the ball effectively. Messi has a go. Palms away by the keeper. Joao Cancelo. Silva. Bruno Fernandes has it. Felix. And players waiting at the bar first. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. Two nil now and back on the way. Enzo Fernandez. Lionel Messi. Might be a chance here. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. Short corner it is. Good bit of pressing. Marcos Acuna. And begging to be put away. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. rolling again 2-1 the score what's going to happen next Lionel Messi Joao Felix on to Silva Felix and Ronaldo prepared to fire well dealt with that ball comfortably splendid tackle and a throw in coming up Marcos Acuna. Good tackle taken away. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Nicely saved. Messi with the corner, well, not the best clearance. 
And I think the threat has been averted. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Bruno Fernandes. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Now too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. An alert intervention. It's going to be a throw in for Portugal here. Joao Cancelo. Well, he fancied his chances, but shame about the finish ultimately. Alvarez. Alexis McAllister. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Marcos Acuna. And return to Messi. Now with Silva. Ronaldo. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserves. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And this is Ronaldo at his best. He's composed, he shows great technique, and he just smashes it beyond the keeper. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Nicely cut out. And he has options available. Has eyes for goal! Well, we gave it the big build-up, but he didn't quite deliver on his promise. Cristiano Ronaldo. Joao Felix. And Ronaldo prepared to fire. The first half here comes to an end. And the ball rolling again after what was a dizzying first 45 from Portugal, you've got to say. Can they match that performance in this half? This looks promising. Crossing possibilities. And the problem not completely solved. And problem solved for now. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Oh, good vision. And he takes on the shot. Oh, did so well to deny him. So a personnel change then. Keen to take it short here. Giving the ball away. Must be! There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. Away again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 
3-2 at the moment. Alexis McAllister. Bruno Fernandes. Tremendous ball played through. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Let's see about the delivery. Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Joao Felix. Now with Silva. Opportunity it is. And a goal! Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And Fernandez wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. It's an excellent finish. into the last 30 minutes now able to skip past his man just couldn't capitalise there Romero it's with Martinez very alert defending to put a stop to the chance well, it's been difficult for the Portuguese to get hold of the ball, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, they're... Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance! Well, it still could be dangerous. Dalo, And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Bernardo Silva. Joao Felix will he find the net oh really good header really fine goalkeeping here it is now a substitution <laughs> and over it comes Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. start the game it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge plenty of support here Messi and given the defenders touch the referee says corner and they're making a change Who can he pick out? Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Otamendi. Marcos Acuna. And the keeper there to deal with it. 
and taking it away Martinez and threading it forward and they could do damage and the keeper nowhere to be found not that he's complaining Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. Goal. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. William Carvalho on the ball Rafael Leao and a tidy challenge and he has options available opportunity it is Joao Felix in position well body in the way The pass not finding its target. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And he's through here. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. And they have possession again. Oh, what an opportunity. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Five minutes left. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, here's the replay. The pass over the top has just the right amount of pace on it. And what an emphatic strike it is from Di Maria. Hit with his laces. It's a great goal. Hit with power. to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4 Pepe on the ball Joao Felix now there to intercept Di Maria dangerous looking through ball majestic piece of goalkeeping well he loves the big moments doesn't he and he's proved it again there Great goalkeeping. Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. The clearance wasn't decisive. Di Maria. And searching for his seconds, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. opportunity from the corner to get right back into this one cleared away Messi on to Di Maria and now it's all over we've witnessed history Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time well, they've been kings of Europe, now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today.
Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time, fully deserved, best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach, he's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.